why don't you ski anymore now? Um, because mentally I still feel like I could win. It's like something died. You know, someone died, you know. Ski racing is dead to me because I can never go back to it. I've done it since I was two and a half years old and now it's gone. I mean, you can still That's do it, same. but it, but because it's not at the competitive level. It's like, well, if you're a Formula One driver, is it going to be really that fun to drive a Prius? No. You know what I mean? It's not the same. It'll never be the same. How, how long do you think you stay away? Well, I'm not really putting any timeline on it. Whenever I feel like I want to go skiing, I will. I mean, I'm here in the mountains for a reason, but I'm just... I'm, taking it one step at a time, and uh, I'll get there when I get there. You said before, when I don't ski, I have a hard time being happy. Uh, why? Uh, I think that's changed a bit now. Um, you know, I think I was just too dependent on skiing. Now, you know, there's a life outside of that, and I'm finding so much more fulfillment in other things, just like having time to myself and with my family and, um, you know, I can go on vacation whenever I want. I can, I can, I can do whatever it is I want to do. I start my own business, start my production company. You know, there's a lot more to life than being in the, in the bubble of being an athlete. What was the hardest point for you of the transition, and how did you ultimately get through it? Um, I would say it was the first year after retirement was hard. I was depressed, and you know, it was just it was a really hard time, but. And I'm lucky that I had PK and I had my family. Um, I had my dogs, of course, my dogs. That really helped me a lot to kind of get over that hump. It, and that's like selling the place in Vail tied in with, with that as well. You were talking about a bit earlier. The amount of days and time that I spent in my house in Vail, in bed, I couldn't get past it. I'm like, I, I can't. All I think about is being injured. And I love the town of Vail and everyone there has been so supportive of me. And, um, but it just, it was too many memories that I just would rather put behind me. People probably are unaware of how like lonely being an elite athlete can be. Exceptionally lonely. I mean, that's why I got a dog. How many dogs can you have? You know, I have three dogs. I'm, I've become, I'm becoming like the crazy dog lady. So I had to, you know, call it quits at three. <laughs> um, but, you know, you win and there's all this excitement and, you know, everyone's like, oh, this is great. And then you go home and it's, you're a home, at an empty hotel room in a foreign country. And like, who do I call? I don't know. It's just, you're by yourself and there's not enough, you know, uh, Netflix, Amazon shows to, you know, make you forget that. How many Christmases were you by yourself? I mean, I miss my birthday and Christmas every year from the time I was 15 until 27, maybe. You eventually need to be around family and friends at some point. When I was kind of in my heyday, I was... Uh, traveling from October until end of March. You know, that's, that's a lot of time and that, that wears on you. The deeper you get into it, like the more time you're away, the deeper you dig in on your life revolving around skiing. And that's, you have to focus on that, you know. Be very simple-minded, not let your thoughts wander.